I have spent a bunch of time since I left the White House uh, traveling uh, and giving speeches and talks. By far the most interesting kinds of exchanges I've had have been on college campuses. So I'm pleased to have the opportunity uh, to do it here at my alma mater and, and, and here at Rice. Josh Arnos was going to be in town for the 25th anniversary of the Baker Institute. He wanted to meet students, so he brought the idea of having an event with students um, to the Baker Institute, and they contacted uh, me and Catherine Kirby, who are the co-presidents of BISIF, to organize this event. So the Baker Institute Student Forum really serves to connect students to the Baker Institute, so we do th this through a variety of events. This event was really perfect for that because it was really great to see an alumni come back and share his experience in politics and policy. <laughs> You are at a remarkable academic institution, and you're at a stage in your life when you can take advantage of it uh, in ways that uh, you won't be able to when you have more of a direct responsibility to like pay the rent and get health insurance and all those other sort of responsibilities that come along with adulthood that you'll face when you leave here. And the reason that it is so important to pursue your passion and to learn about them and to expose yourself to differing worldviews to learn about how people in other cultures or people with different political perspectives think about things, is politics is something that you should only pursue in pursuit of something that you're passionate about. You shouldn't get into politics for the money, in other words. You shouldn't get in it for the glamour, primarily because it doesn't pay that well and it's not that glamorous. <laughs> I think that I found maybe his advice probably the most useful and especially since the Baker Institute Student Forum is so focused on trying to get um, our, the different students involved in policy and you know any in you know a multitude of different ways so I think like you know he clearly knows he gets advice questions and um, I found it really useful to like have tangible things to you know think about and go off of. There is no substitute for really strong uh, writing skills. For all of the advancements in technology, for the dramatic ways in which uh, our media environment is changing and the different ways that people get information, there's always going to be um, value that you can contribute if you can write clearly, quickly, and persuasively. The point of this is that my f this, these first two pieces of advice really go together which is pursue your passion, learn about it, um, sort of expand your horizons, and write about it. So seeking out those kinds of opportunities while you're here uh, is really um, valuable. So when your parents look at your um, report card and say, why are you taking all these sociology classes? Um, you can tell them that your ability to write about the concepts that are presented in that sociology class will have an application um, in your career far beyond sociology. My favorite part of his talk today was definitely just kind of the hope that young people bring to the field of politics. It's really good to hear someone share exactly how he's gone through the field and what he's learned and kind of tell us to show us that there is some hope for us. There is plenty of reason for people who follow the news and who follow politics to read it and feel really discouraged. Um, and I there are days when I do, that it seems like we're not moving in the right direction, that there's so much dysfunction that prevents us from doing the easy thing that we all know is the right thing to do. And fighting that cynicism and remembering that there is value, there's inherent value in us getting involved in influencing the debates in this country. Um, that's just really good for our democracy. It also turns out to be a really effective way for us to change the direction of the country. Um, and there's an opportunity for you to do that, um, and I hope you'll take advantage of it. So, thanks everybody. Thank you.